I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man. Yes, I am, yes, I am, yes, I am. I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man. I believe every lie that I ever told. I paid for every heart that I ever stole. I played my cards and I did Gentlemen, on behalf of Kevin and Desiree, I would like to thank each and every one of you for attending this wedding celebration. You indeed are participating in one of the happiest moments of their lives. For Kevin and Desiree, your very presence as family, honored guests, not only heightens the beauty of this moment, but it also completes it. You may be seated. Throughout time and tradition, it has always been the distinct honor for someone to present the bride in marriage. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? You may give her a kiss on the cheek. Kevin and Desiree, if you may face one another and join hands. We are gathered here today to witness the coming together of two people, two people whose hearts are entwined as one. In fact, those of you who know Kevin and Desiree best can also attest to their love, their blended hopes, their dreams, the goals that they both share with one another. When such a bond of this magnitude exists, it is only appropriate that we have an open and a public demonstration, such as in this wedding celebration. And so, it is now the time where Kevin and Desiree will both profess before God, their family, and friends the desire to henceforth walk the road of life together. Reading through a passage in the book of Genesis, God created man. The Lord formed man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living being. Then God, at that moment, said, It is not good for man to be alone. I will make him a helper, fit for him. So the Lord caused a deep sleep to come upon Adam. And while he slept, he took one of his ribs and he closed up in its place with flesh. And that rib which the Lord had taken from man made into woman and brought her to man. And man said, at last, bone of my bones, flesh of my flesh, 
she shall be called woman because she will now be presented to him. Therefore, as a man leaves his mother and his father to cleave to his wife, just to become one flesh. Today, we are gathered to celebrate such a union. Would you all join together with me as I lead a word of prayer? May you bow your heads and close your eyes at this time. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and lead us not into temptation. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who've trespassed against us. Amen. As vows of intent are going to be expressed at this time, I will ask the bride and the groom to repeat I do after the phrases that are presented. Kevin, do you knowing of this woman's love for you and returning it, realizing her strengths and learning from them, recognizing her weaknesses and accepting them, take Desiree to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Desiree in the same manner, knowing of this man's love for you, returning it, realizing his strengths and learning from them, recognizing his weaknesses and accepting them, take Kevin, to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. At this time, the bride and the groom have asked myself to share special words and acknowledgement to family that are here today, specifically parents and representation at this moment. Kevin and Desiree share their appreciation for you that are here, the guidance that you have shared with them, their very words, love, honor, and respect have been bestowed upon them. These gifts that are presented, now they exchange with each other. It is a tribute now as they stand here before this company. It is now not just the love that they have for each other that has brought them together, but it is the love that you have expressed to them that has brought him to this very moment. For that, they say thank you, and I, myself included, say thank you. Kevin and Desiree, you are now taking into each other's care the one person in whom you love the most. You are agreeing to share strengths, responsibilities, and love with each other. As husband and wife, you will be each other's best friends, confidant, lover, teacher, listener, protector. As your relationship grows, it will deepen every facet of your life. Your happiness will be fuller. Your memories, they will be fresher. Indeed, this moment, you experience marriage to be one of life's greatest commitments, but also be mindful that it is also life's greatest blessings. Preserve your love for one another by demonstrating yourselves patient to each other, by holding each other gently, and by lifting each other up. It will go a long way in guaranteeing you a wonderful and happy life together. Just as the bride's hands were presented in marriage, I would like everyone to turn their attention to Kevin and Desiree's hands at this time. We would like to take a moment to bless their hands. For by the hands, in a relationship, you demonstrate love, commitment, and this big relationship on this journey together. At this time, I will speak a blessing to the both of you. Kevin, Desiree, may you look at each other's hands. These are the very hands of your best friend. Strong, full of love for you on this, your wedding day. These are the very hands that will work alongside yours to build a future together, to share your innermost secrets and thoughts with one another. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you throughout all the years. And with the slightest touch, they will comfort you like no other. These are the very hands that will wipe away tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow, but also tears of joy. These very hands will tenderly hold your children. These very hands will help you hold your family together as one. And lastly, these are the very hands that when wrinkled with old age will still be reaching out for yours. 
still giving you that unspoken tenderness with just the slightest touch. May you bow your heads and join me in a word of prayer as I bless these hands. God bless these hands that you see before you on this very day. May they always be held by one another. Keep them tender, gentle. Nurture one another in your wondrous love. Help these hands continue building a relationship founded on love, grace, and let Kevin and Desiree see their hands as healer, protector, shelter, and guide. We ask this in your name, and everyone said, amen. amen. At this time, the bride and the groom will exchange their wedding vows to each other. Kevin and Desiree, as you prepare to pledge these words to each other, let me remind you that no other words are more sacred than the words that you are about to assume. May these vows only be broken by death, and together you both will live a long and happy life with one another. As a symbol of your union, as joint hands, may you face each other and look into each other's eyes and repeat these words after me. I, Kevin... I, Kevin. Take you to be my wedded wife. Take you to be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. And in the same manner, Desiree, may you please repeat after me these words to Kevin. I, Desiree. I, Desiree. Take you, Kevin. Take you, Kevin. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. Richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish you. To love and cherish you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. These weary words that they have shared in expression to one another are a symbol of their love and their union. The bride and the groom were asked to be able to exchange some words to one another. It was their homework in preparation to this big day. They've both independently written words that express why they love their dearest one the most. And these very words are their words to one another. As I read them, cherish these moments, and receive this special blessing. Desiree to Kevin, let me start by telling you about how amazing this man is. In fact, he is not only just dependable, funny, loving, athletic, tall, handsome, and, f <laughs> and fatherly. He's been a great listener, an advisor, a cook, a best friend, her words, and one heck of a sexy fireman. He's beyond what I expected. All of the great things that I've heard from him and about him, based on all the moments together, I would have to say that I never pictured us getting married. I wouldn't have believed that I finally met the man of my dreams that not only puts up with me, <laughs> my feisty Latina attitude, but has gone above and beyond for me and for Ariel. He has not only given me unconditional love, he reminds me every day how beautiful I am and how much he loves me. He has given me this sense of security that I have not had in a long time. Our beautiful daughter, our angel Ariel, receives the same. He's been the only father figure in her life and has given her the most unconditional love possible. He has rocked her to sleep, has a secret handshake for her, and has taken her to cities since she was very little. She's turned into a huge Hurricanes fan <laughs> and continues to form the bond with her that I had with my father when I was growing up. She loves him so much that she points to every fire truck that she sees and telling every people, that's my daddy. He has proven to me what a real man is supposed to be. And I fell in love with him quicker than I expected. 
I felt deep inside that one, the most important men in my life, led me and to meet him at this moment in a bond that they both would have had and would have been amazing. But so today, I am happy. I'm happy to say that I am marrying the man of my life that I can't wait to live with him forever and to continue to build my life with him. Thank you, Desiree, for those words. I have nowhere near that good. <laughs> Yeah. The same manner Kevin has words to share to Desiree. Very sweet. Very short. <laughs> Very short. <clears throat> Desiree. I was speaking for two. Hey. Where do I begin? When I first laid my eyes on you, I thought, wow, look at this spicy Puerto Rican mama. <laughs> Over time... However, I've grown to not only love and cherish you, but Ariel. As well, not only am I the happiest that I've ever been when I am complete, but we have shared the same amazing, exciting moments together. I look forward to building a lifetime of wonderful memories with our family. I have so much respect for you, not only as a person, but as a mother. I am always impressed with your love and energy throughout the day. Day in and day out, you instill values of love and respect. Honestly, in Ariel and I, we are both blessed to be a part of it. I am also, as I want to always be there for you, I look forward to being a part of your life. Those vows that you've assumed to one another, the words that you have said to each other are sacred. No other words have been more important than the words that you've assumed this very day. At this time, may I please have the wedding rings? <laughs> <laughs> These wedding rings are made of precious metals. These wedding rings embody those same vows that you have shared. These rings represent an unbroken circle of your love. It has no beginning. It has no end, and as they are freely given and freely received, may these rings always be a reminder that your love is never ending. Desiree, may you move this hand over and prepare as Kevin places this ring on your finger. <clears throat> At this time, may you please repeat after me as you place this ring on Desiree's finger. Desiree. Desiree. With this ring, I commit to you. This ring, I commit to you. Always be reminded. Always be reminded. That as this ring encircles your finger. As this ring encircles your finger. My love encircles your heart. My love encircles your heart. You may place the ring on Desiree's finger. <laughs> and as you turn your hand, and please, in the same manner, Desiree, place this ring on Kevin's finger and repeat after me. Kevin. Kevin. With this ring. With this ring. I commit to you. I commit to you. Always be reminded. Always be reminded. That as this ring encircles your finger. As this ring encircles your finger. My love encircles your heart. My love encircles your heart. Oh, big knuckles. <laughs> I think I'm gonna lose a finger there. You may join hands once again. The bride and the groom have asked to participate in the first act in their union together in the lighting of the unity candle. I might bring to your attention behind me this candle is a representation of two separate lives, two lives that are being joined together as one. I ask that you each take one candle. And as it is lit, you join together in lighting the individual candle as it is a representation of an individual life, not only just before this day, but now cemented together in your union. The joining together of these two candles, they represent two lives joined together by one light. Be reminded that just how great the height of the center flame, it will depict the belief that together, you can become more than you could have been alone. Kevin and Desiree, at this time, may you begin by lighting the unity candle.
we close this ceremony by speaking a special blessing. It's a scripture found in the book of Ruth, chapter 1, verse 16. It says, Entreat me not to leave you or from walking beside you. For where you go, I will go. Where your home shall be, it shall be my home. Who your friends will be, whom your family will be, shall also be my friends and my family. Whom your God will be, shall be my God also. For as much as Kevin and Desiree have consented together in holy matrimony and have witnessed the same before God and this company and there too have pledged their faith to each other and to this family and friends and guests that are here, they have joined hands, they have given and received wedding rings. It is with great honor and privilege that I have to pronounce you that you are now husband and wife and what God has brought together, let no man put asunder Kevin, you may kiss your beautiful bride. <laughs> Kevin and Desiree, may you face your family and friends. Ladies and gentlemen, may you rise to your feet at this time as I have the honor to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Kevin Reynolds. Loving than I've ever had Make it all better when I'm feeling sad Tell me that I'm special even when I know I'm not Make it feel good when I hurt so bad Barely getting mad I'm so glad I found you I love being around you You make it easy It's easy as one, two, one, two, There's three, only four. one thing to do Three words for you I love, I love you. you There's only